Authorities in Maine say this river search is at a location where Card's vehicle was found, along with the ground search, which spans miles of heavily wooded area. Former JSO Director Tom Hackney says this search is unique and very complex. Not only do search crews have to be prepared for a possible gun battle at any moment with the wanted suspect Robert Carr, they've got miles of ground to cover and a river to search. Maine authorities today releasing these digital maps of the three key areas of their investigation, the bowling alley, the bar, and the river dock area where Card's SUV was found. There are so many factors that can go into these searches that add layers upon layers of complication. Retired JSO director Tom Hackney knows about complicated searches. He led the more than 150 day search for one year old Lonzi Barton in Jacksonville in 2015. The search for evidence or a child's body spanned dozens of square miles of land and 61 retention ponds. Hackney says the search for Carden in Maine is complex as authorities try to put together the pieces of the puzzle. This is a guy who, who put a lot of plan into his act that he took. So that adds another layer too of, of looking backwards into his history to see you know who he was involved in. What did his plan entail? Is this whole thing uh, up there with the river, is that just a ruse? Has he you know set this as, a, as an ability to, to kind of turn investigators heads so he can get away? It's, there's, there's a lot of questions. Investigators in Maine say they've also recovered a letter card left behind addressed to his son, hinting today that it may contain information about a possible motive. They also recovered a cell phone, which Hackney says should give them new insight. Nowadays, the, an investigator, there, there's just a world of opportunity in electronic devices, cell phones, uh, GPS tracking, you know, the whole thing. People think that there's the ability to, to remove evidence from them, and, and in many cases, the uh, investigators, it's just a treasure trove of, of information. And in this case in Maine, again, you don't know what planning went into this, so you, you have that as the ability to, as, as kind of a peek into the back, into the history of what this gentleman uh, may have done or may not have done to, uh, to put this together. Investigators also announced today they found an AR-15 rifle similar to the description and caliber of the gun used in the actual attacks. Now, forensic tests are being conducted to match the bullets in the shell casings to the two shooting scenes to see if there is a match. Stacy.